The center was capable of making solar instruments such as solar cookers, solar dehydrators, solar water desalination units and solar geysers. They had even installed these in many villages but the current status of these installations is unknown. Its capacity is 40 kg per day. Capacity is different and efficiency is different. Within seconds, efficiency. I was amused to find out that the person with the highest qualification in this research center was not a PhD or a scientist, but had a degree of masters in chemistry. Water layers are collected in this huge channel. And then we do it in the same way. PCCR now is working only on dehydration of vegetables as far as solar energy is concerned. I went to the Hyderabad Research Centre, I saw that there are other devices also on which working is being done like the solar uh, heaters, like the solar uh, cookers. Yes. So uh, are all these in the domain of...? Uh, well, I mean, strictly not. Uh, but we, as I mentioned earlier that we were working on those uh, aspects. But then the work was assigned to PCRET. So, but uh, as a part of Rural Technologies Division, they are working on it. Basically the aim is to propagate the different types of solar devices that we have. So, uh, did you did they contact any farmers and what was the response from their side? How uh, many units have been, you know? Uh, I cannot give you the details on the number of units sold. I mean, because they're not, uh, they're just propagating, they're telling them that these are the available and if anybody's interested, they can sort of help them in fabrication of those units. This is a workshop where scientific and industrial research of Pakistan is being done. Well, my personal experience of making this documentary up till now has been a really wild goose chase. I've been trying to contact different organizations, different people, and trying to find out what exactly is the potential of renewable energy in Pakistan and what has been done in this regard. But it is very sad that what I have found out is that this organization by the name of Pakistan Council of Scientific and Industrial Research has developed a total number of four products which are related to solar thermal uh, technology in a total number of 24 years of its existence. And what I don't understand is that how as a nation we are going to progress in terms of renewable energy with such research and development facilities. We left Hyderabad and our next trip was to go to Kamumalla which lies near the Sindh coastline, about 40 kilometers from Badil. I was told that solar stills for water desalination were installed in the year 2007 by an NGO. PCSIR had uh, set up a, a solar water purification plant, uh, not solar uh, using uh, photovoltaic cells, but solar thermal for purifying water in certain uh, parts of Pakistan. And they have, uh, they have worked well uh, wherever they have been set up. And that's another source. Again, in one or two cases where the maintenance was not there, they did not work well. So uh, local maintenance uh, is important. This was solar. He told me that was the experience further downgraded my morale, but a ray of hope was PCRET, an organization focusing on research and development in renewable energy, created by merging three separate organizations. Wow! Now with the, with the increase of uh, the utility cost, the people are really moving now towards the, the solar water heaters. Uh, uh, and as our own efforts, we have tried to transfer the technologies to, to make the flat plate collectors right here in the country and they are now uh, selling. So but you have not installed these devices in villages like you have done in the PVs? No, I'm coming, this, this is the solar water heaters we're talking about. A number of things have been demonstrated around. Uh, then in solar thermals, the, uh, the solar dehydration, drying of fruits and vegetables and leaves, they are getting quite a success now. The same work which was being done by the Pakistan Council of Scientific and Industrial Research in their Hyderabad Research Center uh, in the area related to solar thermal products is being done by the PCRET over here in Islamabad. Now as you can see, this is the solar cooker 
which we saw in Hyderabad also. This is another variation of the cooker. These are the box type solar cookers. Over there, you can see the solar water heaters. And here, you can see the solar stills which are used for water purification. There they have the solar dryers also. Now the organization has a capacity to build these products, manufacture these products and supply it to different NGOs, individuals or to the government if the government needs it for its own projects. But the sad part is that this organization supplied only 50 of these solar cookers, 5 of these solar stills and around 35 of these solar dryers during the year 2008 to different NGOs and the government. Believe it or not, even the Pakistan Atomic Energy Commission is engaged in making solar water heaters. But this work doesn't seem to be a rocket science. You can find small workshops in the outskirts of Islamabad performing the same work. With workers who have not even passed school, they take around two weeks to manufacture a solar geyser or a solar dryer. The AEDB also started research work on solar thermal power plants. They had a plan to install three solar thermal power plants for demonstration purposes at Rawalpindi's College of Electrical and Mechanical Engineering. But they were not able to find the right components to import and as far as I know, um, those comp components were never uh, imported into the country. How did the AEDB I, I get into an R&D project? I mean, this is not the domain you just mentioned it to me. Uh, this should not have been done, to, as far as I'm concerned, except for the fact that I think um, the first few years of ADB were the years when ADB wanted to create an awareness or acceptance of renewable energy into the country. So they were doing all kinds of things. But their website still highlights it.